know why diets basically fail? Diets fail because people want to do it overnight. They go on crash diets and they do lose weight, but it's too much of a commitment, it's too much of a psychological con concentration you cannot keep up. The only way you can lose weight is to take in less than what you put out. Exercise, you will not lose, you'll never burn up as much as you, if you're a person that gouge yourself with food, You'll never do enough exercise to compensate that unless you do extreme exercise, and most people are not going to do it. You talk about the average person. If you want to lose weight, forget about crash diets. Remember, you have to take in less than what you put out in energy. If you sit around all day watching television, your diet's got to be memorable or you're going to get fat. That's that simple. And don't tell me what I don't eat. All I have, whatever you have, is too much. And I'll tell you, I'm getting a little, you know, maybe a little odd, but if you tell me one egg a day, you gain weight, eat half egg. That's all, that's simple. You cannot gain weight if you do not take in more than you're putting out. Now, people vary in their metabolism and what they, what they burn in a normal day and how active they are, and you have to work it. If you want to really stay in shape, a lot of people just aren't up to exercising hard. And you can't, so in that, those type of people will have to watch their diets to the point that you can live with it. Don't go on a diet where you're measuring everything. People cannot sustain that. It's too intense. It's like anything. They cannot sustain it. Get a diet that you can live with, a diet that you know your, the proportions. Look at it. That if you've got any instinct, if you really want to lose weight, you've got to use some instinct. You can't look around and say, well, I get a half a cup of this. you got to get instinct. You know damn well, if you sit around all day, you can't have a double quarter pound of a cheese and a milkshake for lunch. You know you can't do it. Now, if you want to do that, that's fine. You're going to gain weight. It's that simple. Now, if you're active, that's entirely different. Your activity will prevail, but the kind of activity you need to burn a lot of calories is unbelievable. I mean, um, Michael Phelps, um, which is fascinating, 12,000 calories a day. If I ate 12,000 calories a day, I'd weigh 6,000 pounds. But he was so intense in his workout, he burned it up. He was actually skinny. And most, but actually, you look at him, you say, hey, this guy's skinny. I mean, he was so lean. How was he able to do it 12,000 calories a day? You know what? That's, and you know what? He won because by eating that massive amount of food and working so hard, his body became a machine that was able to metabolize that food and give him energy and strength that he would have never had ordinarily. Now, of course, this is an unusual case. So I'm, not, I'm just using this example that it's not how much you eat, it's what you do. But nobody's going to work hard enough to burn up enough calories if they're big eaters. And I mean, I, uh, when I was training, when we were training, we didn't, I mean, I, we didn't come in. We were training to exhaustion when we were training. We were training, to, but we didn't eat nothing like this guy ate. So the point is, he's a special machine, but he is a graphic example of what you eat and how much you eat will determine how you weigh. Now, the most important, how much you weigh. Now, the most important thing, you want to lose, lose weight, just keep one thing in mind. Do not waste your time on a crash diet. Because you know what it's going to make you almost, you're going to become like, a, you can't wait to get the, the cakes and the candy and the stuff that you, 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 you neglected. And then you'll get off the diet and you'll spend next thing you know, you gain the weight back and more. Because it's too intense. Crash diets are too intense and it's momentary satisfaction, like having sex. Once you have it over with, then what? Same thing with these crash diets. You go six months and you're in pain. Most of these people that go through these crash diets. It's painful. They can't wait for it to be over. And when it's over, they're right back to what they were eating because they don't understand the body. If an egg make you gain weight, eat a half egg. That's that simple. But don't make it a diet. Try to make it where you can understand that. If, I, if I'm going to have lunch today and you see a pound steak, you say, that's too much because that's a thousand calories. I eat a quarter of a pound. Just do something you do on a daily basis that's not painful. Just know that when you, like I, like I said, don't go out and have a, a big piece of cheesecake, some ice cream, french fries, and, uh, and, and uh, 
uh, a milkshake and then say, oh God, I gained weight. You're going to gain weight because it's a lot of calories. You're not going to do enough exercise to burn that off. So you know what it's going to do? It's going to accumulate. And what you're going to do is find out you're right back where you started and you're going to depress. You're going on another crash diet. Crash diets are the worst thing you could do, but it's a quick fix. And people get on them and they don't stay on them because it's too intense. Remember, it's too intense. The human mind and body cannot keep that going on year after. See, when you go on a crash diet, crash diets are not supposed to end. You're supposed to really stay on that type of diet. And people can't do it. It's too intense. And you can't do a diet where you're measuring everything, a cup of this, a teaspoon of that. Too intense. So what happens? You get a sigh of relief. Oh, I'm off the diet. I lost 25, 30 pounds. Then you go right back to what you normally eat and you gain the weight again. You go on depression again. You go back on a crash diet. It's a yo-yo. And the crash diets are very bad for the system. It's a drain on the system. And not get, a lot of people get pretty ill on those crash diets because it's too drastic a loss of weight and too quick. So this is what I'm saying of when I'm telling you if an egg, as I have repeated a, a number of times, I'm just saying it because it's really grammatic. Because I had people say, I don't eat that, I don't eat that much and I gave away you eat. Well, whatever, you ate too much. It's that simple. You, because you, your mind tells you uh, two hamburgers and, uh, and, and, and two uh, milkshakes and uh, apple pie and much food to you, it's too much for you to handle because you're gaining weight. So the point is simply this. If you say you don't eat that much, then whatever you eat, eat less. Unless you can put out the kind of intense workout that people like, uh, like I mentioned before. And there are people that can eat six, seven thousand dollars a day and don't, lose, and don't lose and don't gain because they're very, but these are unusual people. Don't even think about those people because most people can't do that. Just exercising them and very important to try to do a little resistance training because it builds your muscles and it maintains your metabolism. It's different than running. Running is short term, muscle building is long term. Remember that. When you build muscles, your entire body, body's metabolism increases and it's, made, and it's sustained because muscles makes the body work harder. It makes, it picks up your metabolism, whereas fat don't. So the most important, remember now, if you want to lose weight, try to do some, some, some uh, resistance training. Try to build some muscles. It's very important. Because when you build muscles, the body becomes a lot more efficient. You don't have to go out here and try to be a, a Mr. Universe. Just build, the people that don't build muscles, don't, the body is not as efficient. So get your muscle tone up, do a little light, maybe once or twice. Or, it may be hard, and the people can't do that. If you can't do nothing, if you're the type of person that has an aversion to any kind of exercise, just do have a diet that you can live with. And if you do that, you won't have any problem as far as being overweight.